We'll be there, Eivor. You don't speak for us, steward. Need I remind you, Wax, what Halftown will do with us? You made it. Sandwich. Will its men tore through it? Dunwich. It is time to light the brazier. I'll light it. You do the talking. Ruther, Valdis, and I will scout the dock. Make sure there are no surprises. Oswald and I will hold here, until the brazier is lit. The front gate is heavily guarded. You'll not be walking in. I'll find my own way. We'll be watching you back.
Now to clear out Ruid's men and light that brazier. I should not be seen in this area. Not here. If I know Bjorn Gell, he'll be drunk and sober six times before he's back. Our words and theirs are not so far apart. Once we spend some time with them. That's the last of them. Once the brazier is lit, the rest of Ruid's men should arrive. This way! Help! Oh, 
Thank you, my friend. Odin gives me a bargain. A few dead men at my feet in exchange for a ripe East Anglia, and my wife returned. What a day! You. I don't know you. Any questions you have, you ask the king of East Anglia, and bend the knee while you do. Who called for me? Was it you, Valdis, my love? Why would I call you now, after five happy years away from your stinking balls? I called you, Ruid. You, Oswald, the hopeful king of East Anglia. And Valdis' husband-to-be. Take your men and go. East Anglia is strong with Saxons and Danes united. It will not fall to raiders. Must I set sail for Denmark with nothing to show for the journey, after coming all this way? You'll have my weight in silver, and an abundance of livestock and grain. I've taken ten times that already. What's the real prize? I'll make you an offer, Pigfoot. A home gang, just you and me, for the future of your kingdom. I accept. I accept a fight to the death. East Anglia's the prize. Let it be heard. The hazel is laid! The square is made. When you see a chance, lead Valdis and the brothers to safety. They must not fight today. East Anglia needs them. Let me be your champion. No. He called on me. Whenever you're ready, King of <laughs> Sheep. <laughs> I'm ready!
breaking off. They've given up for now. That puts some distance between us. We can rest a moment. By Thor, he fought well. Raging like a bonfire. We should go back. Oswald may have survived. Ruid as well. It's possible. Ruid's men will press their advantage. We must be ready when they attack. We'll go to Norwich. Meet me there where you can. He died a hero. There's no doubt. If his god won't take him, all the sword women will. Elmenham will not recover. None of us will. Another king lost Abel. Stop washing your face with mead. How can I face half Don Yarl now? I've failed him again. You have not failed him. Root's clan is badly weakened. We can still cure what ails these lands. What Thanes would risk their asses now? Oswald was the last with even a scrap of courage. We can take the battle to what remains of Ruud's clan, before they hit back. Easier said than done. His men are holed up in Borg Castle, a fortress on the sea. On the sea? Then it must have a harbor. It does. Guarded by a gate of hefty iron held in place by timber spikes, difficult to force open. Timber burns. It does, but how do we reach it? We rig your ship with oil at her front and sail it ablaze at the gate. They would see us coming, long before we reached the walls. We raise a beard 
an army of East Anglia's farmers. Throw them at the front gate as a distraction. Saxons willing to die for a bunch of Danes? It's a stretch. It can work, Finir. If they fight in Oswald's name, that is all the courage they will need. <laughs> you there! Did you hear of Thane Oswald's fate? Aye, we did. He dragged Ruid to the bowels of Elba, Dane devil. Ruid may be gone, but his clan still plagues East Anglia. And would you join us to rid your kingdom of his dogs? For Oswald? Aye, anything. Two eager Saxons is not yet defeated. But you may be right. We may have a chance. I can ride to Elmenham and muster what remains of Oswald's men there. But who else would join us? The Reeve of Thaleford, Winston. He's a bitter old barnacle, but he would fight to the death for this land. We can assemble a forward camp at the ruins north of Boer Castle. Ride with me, Fenir. Let's pay this Reeve a visit. With any hope, Thaleford remains untouched by Ruid's violence. Hope is a scarce word in this kingdom. Maybe so, but I would rather hold on to something, anything, than ride with empty hands. If Ruid's clan continues to roam this kingdom unchecked, the people of East Anglia will be as ravaged as these lands. And where do we find ourselves? Riding into defense to beg a horde of frightened farmers for aid? To fight for a king that you gave them, Finir. Remember that. It was my task to find them a king, not protect that king against every danger that might befall him. Oswald wasn't crowned yet, nor was he married. I say you have some work yet to do. Right, right. No need to remind me how far I felt short. Watch your back. Moore's clan may still be nearby. <laughs> what did you expect, brother? Sword and silver? We had a bit of fun. Theobald, just ahead. Wood smoke and ash. Good men have been here. Eat, my child. So no time's to waste what the Lord has given us. What about you, Father? Everything is gone, Ray. Everything. Ah, oh, my friend, we will rebuild. I have a will of iron coming here, knowing your kind did all this. Ruid's clan is your enemy, not me. I come on behalf of the late Oswald of Elmenham. We're still a Dane from top to two. It's your meddling that led to Oswald's death, leaving our kingdom for the worse. Oswald died defending East Anglia, defending you. Will you not do the same? What? Die in defense of a lost cause? I have problems of my own. East Anglia will fall if Ruid's clan is not defeated. Fight with me drive them off, for Oswald and your kinsmen. Pretty words, Dane. But the men of Theovard have their own battles to fight. If you need an axe, I'm standing right here. There's a village to the east, Kingsbury. It was taken by Ruid's men a fortnight ago. And I'll not rest until it's back in our hands. Let me and my raiders take the village, save your strength, and join us for the fight to come. Bold offer. If you do as you promise, the pikes at Theavard will be yours. I will take this news to our forward camp, Abel. Follow when you can. I will see you there. Kingsbury's church has a great horn atop its steeple. If you manage the task, blew it. I'll know you kept your word. We will rebuild, I promise you. if you will. You called to me. We heard you talking with the Reeve, and we wish to fight beside you. We owe Oswald for his good deeds and fair rule. 
I'm glad to hear it. Go to the ruins north of Buch Castle. The army gathers there.
Give me a hand with this. Promise holds. It's been so long since I heard that sweet sound! I held to my oath, Reeve. I hope you will honor yours. My promise holds, I. They of Ord will join you in the fight against Ruid's clan. With your aid, we may yet save East Anglia. In past times, that horn was used to muster fears all across our land. You may find others who have warmed to its call. Good. Whatever willing men you find, rally them soon at the ruins north of Burton Castle.
Information? I have it. Do you need it? Where is the matter of my fee? Yes, all right. Now, show me your map. There is a place here. This must have got to them. The brothers' fleet, gathered and ready.
Eivor! Men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. The Edward's Reeve is with us. Its men will be here soon. More than his, the Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane, united in common cause. A pity he is not here to see it. The forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? I am. Our target is Burr Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the field at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruid's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Abel. Oswald was a man who didn't hesitate when you sought him for favors. A man who was fair and strong. A man who gave his life for his kingdom. Honor him today. Honor his memory. And fight with the same extra courage he showed! For us! For us! For us! Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruud's clan, once and for all. May come to pass. Dreams, life, maybe they are one and the same. Tonight, I ride the flaming sea steed, rushing to the spear there. The watcher alive and waters wake, another glory I will keep. Ready yourselves. Ruid's shit stains will see us coming.
guys, we need to open these gates. Charge!
in with these wastrels? These Argir swine? For what? A scrap of land and a promise of peace? Eivor, no! He should be tried before God, a lawful assembly. <laughs> I won't have my reign begin with more blood spilt than is needed. Another screeching scold. This man must die for the damage he has wrought. The old laws are clear. These are Oswald's lands. To rule as king as he sees fit. Does Eivor bow to kings? To defy a king would shame him. East Anglia cannot heal without his honor intact. And what of your honor, Eivor? How much are you willing to lose? The rightful king of East Anglia has spared your life today. And so it will be. Compassion is a virtue suited for anyone, Eivor. Including you. Thank you. This is... is like a dream. But you're not asleep. Well fought! Well fought! The both of you! You came as well, old friend. If I'd known you were still alive, I would have stayed in Norwich. Look around you. A happy occasion and a glorious victory. And soon, something more grand to take place. A wedding, my love. If you will still have me, that is. And why would I not? I fought poorly. I melted under the heat and anger without brute. And I never... Oswald, stop. You fought with all your heart and soul. That's all you need ever do. Come then. We have much to prepare for. Bride to wed and a kingdom to lead. But some men wouldn't give for such things. Countless men have died for them. And you, Fenir? Are you jealous of such things? Hardly. My heart is afire, but my body aches. I desire only a long nap. I saw a bale of hay back there. Later, Abel. For now I must see to the wounded. Then I will see you at the wedding. Aye, of course you will. I should return to Elmenham. Oswald's wedding will soon begin. Celebration, my lord. Thank you. May this feast set a spirit just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding. Yet I arrived in the end. A part of me worried you wouldn't. You look good, Oswald. Like a man about to marry a more powerful woman. Do I? Because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win.
I hereby name you man and wife. And as man and wife, I name you... Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia. With this Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, Steward. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. He ordered me to see it through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Eivor! Care for a challenge? Eivor! Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my parts. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothier. My arrows shatter whatever target they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. <laughs> Keep your eyes open long enough to witness this, you drunken lout. With everything, an easy task for the wolf kissed. Ah, barely a challenge. Impressive, impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. Skull, Ivor! Let's have a drink. Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king? A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories! And the new king of East Anglia! May his reign be long and good. Not bad, Wolf Kiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I could use a drink and shame you all at once, bro dear. But not right now. Uh, when you change your mind, I will be right here. Uh, 
The boar represents fertility. Did you know that? As does Freya. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder, is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? Even a fool has something to teach, whether they are aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Sheath your plow sword, bro dear. I'm not interested. Uh, you, you thought... No. No. I wasn't serious. Come on now. Drink and be merry. Well, I had a few, friend. Wait, did you hear? Did my brother just call me? I think he... You know I should go. Brother! Behold, how light-footed I am. You're as light-footed as a bear in a birch tree. These are the moves of Elmenar. Eivor, Eivor! Some sweet wine for a sweet swine? <laughs> Come join me! <laughs> the Saxon god wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. They like to say he moves with mystery. Look! The moon! It moves on trouble now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf, and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again, and it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull or Hati, chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them, and... I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. Don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on. Let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinny. You're very strong. You're very large. <laughs> Sorry for this, Eivor. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. Need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> Mm. Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It's been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I'm ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends. Honored guests, we've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. To our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? Oh. 
Oswald, you would not have been my first choice as king, nor my second. I thought you weak, bendable, without resolve. But not all men are as they first appear. I came to see that Oswald's heart is amongst the largest I've ever known. He is sturdy, he has wisdom, and he has courage. All qualities of a man worthy to be king. He is the king East Anglia deserves, and the king you need. To the good King Oswald! To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Steady all, and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all! My king! He... <laughs> the sheep you left to guard me have been shorn. Oswald! King of sheep fuckers! Show your eyes! I challenge you. I accept. Oswald is king, and a king must have a champion. I will fight in his stead. He challenged me, Eivor. Your fight is bigger than this, Lord. You must rebuild East Anglia plank by plank, and a dead king cannot keep his oaths. Let me finish this. Oswald, you gutless Arius swine! I'll slay the wolf kissed, then hang you with your own tongue. Yeah. You always getting in the way. He's angry at that burn for all I care. Wish it had not come to this. So much death, so much anger. What's done is done. You're leaving now. I should. Your wedding should be a day of peace and happiness. Today I lack both. Eivor, you've done East Anglia a great service. I promised you an alliance, and now you have it. And one day, I will need you to make good on that alliance. I should find Finnian. Say goodbye before I leave. Ah, greetings, Eivor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die a tired old failure. But now, my heart burns bright with newfound fire. I want to live hard, die fierce. Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together? Together. I'll gather my things. Dream come true. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. I'll send a message to Halfdan in the north. He'll be pleased to know that a king now sits upon East Anglia's troubled throne. Baldis.
Will you not stay a moment longer, Eivor? I should not linger. My banner folk await my return. I understand. Take care, Valdis. You fought well and won yourself a worthy king. I did, didn't I? Take care, Eivor. Wretched hat of yours. Roland, Holger, why all this? Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holger robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Huh. Rob disappointed word? Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A filly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing. Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holger and how right I was. For when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see, such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom to make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan? As I was saying, this morning, in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer. To make a perfect brush, I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. 
And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafur's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Holger, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by tears' blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in some... You look well. That Holger, he is quite a character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass, and live with such petty concerns, he hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Sven passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. <laughs>